Hey guys, we're back with Dongan Jumpa by uh, V3, Killing Harmony, Spoilers Press Chapter 1, you know the drill? Uh, anyways, anyways, uh, I just got back, like it's been five, let's see, let's see how long it's been. Uh, okay, it's been 15 minutes since it last. okay, okay, I had to go for a few minutes. Uh, let's continue. Looking to get to the start of the investigation today. Great, okay, great, so we couldn't find the flashback light. We all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. There's still some time left today. Hmm. What should I- Ooh, okay. Before that, though, there's a few things we gotta do. I don't know if I ever looked at her, so... Oh, it looks like... Three of them are in the end. What you might call it. I don't know if we ever left the candidates. So, we're gonna do that and go into this too. Because this might be the last chance we get, depending on how chapter 6 goes. Oh, we can enter hers. Yeah. We should get a further play. Just want one to hear it. Speakers. I can do this. I'll believe in myself and prove I can do this. Shooting guys. Hey, hey. Can I keep the promise I made to you? Is that everything? Okay, what? Hold on. Oh, I wanted, wanted to hit all the music stages and stuff. Stupid groom! Wait, no. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, it's on this floor, okay. She's going over. Uh, I think we looked at Grimmies already. Oh, we can go in. Okay. Uh, I guess there's no dialogue today. No new dialogue, anyway. Doesn't really matter. He looks through me, anyway. I still think my fake memory theory has some weight. Welcome to Entomologist Lab. Okay, so we don't have dialogue. Here. Maybe we'll only get the dialogue while we're looking for. Like, while we're looking for places for the key. There's a bookcase. Just go into the middle of reading them? We'll never finish them now. That's an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Don't tell. Kind of insect specimens are in this play. I used to look at these specimens with such unbridled joy. I can't believe he's gone. I miss going to. I like the word you guess. We're trying to hang out with Kaido. If we can't, we'll hang out with Kibo. What? Where's Kokichi? Do you think he's in the uh, the basement? Like, in the elevator? Uh, we, we have a stable. So if we need to. It's no use. I don't even know what to say to him. Aw, oh, man. So, let's keep up then. Kibo's cool. I don't mind, but I want to max Kaido's. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Jeez. Just look cool by calling himself a hero. Whenever he does something here, let's have to clean up after him. Is there Kibo somewhere? Hey, Kibo, want to get under the hydraulic press again? Oh, we, we did a spin. There's Kibo. Hmm. There's no flashback light. Unless we missed it somehow? Bang out Kibo for Well then. Please let me help me look for the flashback light. The way things are now, the situation will never change. Spend some time looking for the flashback lights with Kibo. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. I'd like to give him a present, yes.
Can we... I think I gave him a spike we shoot last time. Let's see if there's anything else. Because I know a lot of things about your robots. Oh, cattle would like this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, uh, his, his former non-robot self's ID. I'm assuming there's an ID. Robots like. And it's sweaty. Give him some hands. Can I just give him another cheat then? Oh, astronaut. Okay. Tattered music score. Plastic moon buggy model. It's filled with burning passion. A picture of a artist. And grips. Let's give him the strike with tissue then. Right. Where's that? Where'd it go? There we go. Thank you very much. This is quite a practical gift. Thank you. Listen closely. Please don't get the wrong impression. I'm happy because this gift is so practical. Under different circumstances, this gift could be considered an act of robophobia. Shuichi! But, hold on, how far are we with this? Do we only have one? Yeah, we only have one, okay. Come to talk to me again. You must be very fascinated by me, Shuichi. That is understandable. In all the world, there's no other robot as impressive as I am. Why does he talk to me like that? Although, I suppose it is true that his technology is pretty amazing. Very human-like. Um... Kibo, you said your father is Professor... Professor Inabashi, right? You know why I made it? That's... The professor told me that I'm the sum total of his research. The entirety of his knowledge, technology, and expertise in the field of robotic engineering. Listen closely. All of to create a robot more human than any that has come before. That's what I am. He said I'm the culmination of his life's work. But I was not truly born until an incident occurred that the professor did not predict. Huh? An incident? I... A strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now... My AI, my AI is only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. In response, the professor treated me the way a father would treat his son. But things did not improve. Well... One day, a few years later, an X-Men appeared during a routine experiment. Our programming went rogue. I ended up seriously injuring the professor. Huh? What? But... Fortunately, the professor survived his injury. But I died that day. Huh? I died? I... When I hurt the professor, I was overcome by an emotional response known as sadness. First law of your robot robotics is, a robot must not harm a human being. I wasn't punished for violating that rule, nevertheless felt sadness. I blame myself for hurting my father in doing so. I was overcome with guilt. This is... This is what it feels like to have human emotions. I... At that moment, my AI suddenly reset. I'm not on like a newborn infant. I see. So that's what he meant by he died. That's... Perhaps I simply want to be reborn as the professor's son again. That's what the professor concluded. He raised me as his own child. By the way, to tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI reset. So I learned all this secondhand from the professor himself. No idea he'd experienced something so incredible. What's the matter? Choo choo, something wrong? No. Well, how do I put this? I just think that you're really all the ult are the ultimate robot. Professor Itabashi, he knows more than just a robot. I'm sure that for people, the professor is. Hey! What does that mean? You don't mean contempt now because I'm a robot? How are you. So, part of me wants to Google Professor Itabashi to see if that's a reference or something? But another part of me doesn't, because what if he's... What if he's Junko? Please you consider your attitude towards me in the future. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep him. And you're pregnant. Listen to Kibo's stories about the professor. And it's my room. There's still some time. What should I do? Free time, start. Uh, okay, I want to look at a gift guide just to, just to see you know, if there's anything else. I'm going to go for V3. Community guides. Uh, there's a How to Deal with Chapter 6 ending. Let's not click on that. All-purpose guide? Uh, yeah, that's presents.
Oh no, that's not the list I usually use. There's a good one. Oh, focus. Wait, where'd it go? Loot. Yeah, top rated all time. I don't know. Ah. Uh, I guess just use. Wait. And it's. Okay, all purpose gay. Go back to that one. Green circle means the best, okay. He likes Kibo likes autumn colored scarf. Okay. That's good. Let's try Kaido again. Downy well, but I imagine maybe after tonight he will. Like, you know, night training if there is. But it's no use. I don't even know what to say to him. Let's save before we do it though, just in case he doesn't like this card. I think we have this card, right? Oh, there's a window. Set it us with a motive yet. What is he plotting? To hang out with Kibo for a while. So, mm -hmm. Krips is expecting Kokichi to act on his own without even needing. What if Kokichi's just, just been dead for like the past day? Maybe we should look for Kokichi. Kibo and I spent some time looking for Kokichi. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. I'd like to give him a present. Oh, it can be used by men, robots, what men, women, and robots. Oh, no. Update my drivers? Gross. Never doing that. Yes. Thank you very much. This is nice. It aligns with my preferences. You understand me. I feel happy. Shuichi! Shuichi, I, I want to protect that smile. <laughs> they act you. May I ask you for your advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um... Advice? Are you sure you want to ask me? Yes. Yes, in fact, you're the only one I can talk to about this matter. The only one? Um... The question has been on my mind for a while now. You think I'm merely ordinary, despite being the ultimate robot? Well... Well, you don't need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel like I'm ordinary. Why ask? If I must. So I've been thinking that I need to address this somehow by taking action. Suchi, I tend to... Watch your robot business. Oh, robot business. Indeed. I'm gonna launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. That's why I'm gonna work to become a pop star robot. Uh, um, pop star? Is that? Listen closely. I arrived at this decision, decision after analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance to the pop music genre. I don't think they've advanced in any music genre. For now. On the subject of pop stars, singing is what they're mostly known for, right? It's the dancing. To be an idol, you have to dance. That's. The dancing. Dancing, huh? Hmm. Are you bad at dancing? Well. I don't want to say I'm bad at dancing. It's just, for some reason, my dancing always seems to turn into the robot. <laughs> Perhaps they get idols, not for you. Listen closely. That's why singing is how I'll stand out. Well then. I'm gonna sing for you now. Please tell me what you think. Okay. Alright, sure. Soon we regret those words. Uh... <laughs> I love Kibo. Kibo's expressions while singing was so peaceful, so joyous. Uh... But my brain was big fried. Don't look, my insides are scrambling. Can't back. I can't block it out. I'm gonna throw up. Should you take it there? Several minutes later, I opened my eyes. Still hunched over. How about this? What do you think, Shuichi? It was pretty good, huh? Sorry. Sorry, Kibo. I don't think I can follow your music career. Huh? Well, what do you mean? No. Kibo, you're singing. It's terrible. Couldn't take it. Really? Was it that bad? Hmm. It's like 
I don't think you should sing for people anymore. But how? Does that mean I can't become a pop star? Ugh. Wait, Kibo, that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you do that? You just pretended to sing and play the song through your mouth. You can't. Can't do that. Ugh. But I'm disappointed in you. That's an illogical compromise, Shuichi. Please understand, my AI is a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. The easy path will only hinder my progress. Even if one possesses an ultimate level talent, the talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone to reach even greater heights. Evil's report card has been updated. Kibo gave me a dressing down, then I returned to my room. Never thought the day would come when a robot would preach to a human. Come to think of it, we didn't come to a conclusion about his robot business. It's night time. Training? Oh yeah, Mana comes to bed. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. The time is now 10 p.m. Night time has officially begun. And it's fully voice acting. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes? Either way, sweet dreams. I sleep with the fishes. He means, like, die. Not in the literal sense, like, Roma, but, like, I miss Roma. It's nighttime. I'm gonna go training. I would have been training. Oh. Huh? The music that plays when it's darkest time. Always makes you think, okay, I'm gonna die. Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well, Kato asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Your lab? <sighs> Might as well show him, since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. Why do you- Why can't I want to see your lab? Maki's not- Please- Please don't die! Maki! Oh, who's- Who's, who's over here? It's a Why are you in my training spot? Um... What are you looking up at the sky for? Oh, Shuichi. It's just looking at the stars a little. I remember something Gonta said before. What did Gonta yeah. say? Remember after Kurumi's trial? I thought you mentioned it. It's around Gonta. Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just- even all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. Stars here are different. Not the same one you don't used to. Oh! He did say that! Yeah, so... Actually... I was just thinking, the stars really are pretty. Can't tell the difference, since I don't usually look at them, but... That reminds pretty. me! I'd forgotten this feeling. Though the horrible thing's happening, I was always looking You're down. right! I need to thank You're right! Hey! hey. You wanna join me, Shuichi? Sorry. Sorry, there's something I have to take care of. I see! I'm gonna stay here a little while longer. Who's over here? Here we go. Oh, Kibo. Shuichi! It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out about this hour? Okay. This hour? Promise to meet up with Maki. I see. I see. Well. I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit for my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. It was only a few days ago. Just like we formed the student council with Angie ages ago. A lot of things have happened since then. I haven't had a moment um... to relax. Anyway, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now, when they don't know Kokichi's way about You're right. You're right, I'll be careful. Wait, what if Maki's planning to kill us? The search protagonist again. Like I, I I can't get over that feeling. I feel like that's going to happen. Like, like if they do it once, they'll do it again. That's the biggest twist they could do. Anyway, they could do it now, but if free time's over now. Because, you know, they, they had to do it in the first chapter because they'd have to write all the free time events for Kaede and then all the ones for Shuichi. Which is why with Kaede you can only do, go up to two and you don't. There's no really any, you know, not any depth to them really. Although, you could argue there's not really any depth to the current ones either, but... I mean, I, I don't... They're not bad, they're just, you know... 
I, I wish they had a greater impact on the game. There's monkeys. I'll put an assassin lab. Ah! Sorry I'm late. Hmm? Uh, okay. So you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Silence. <sighs> As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaido? Ah! Just wanted to see what kind of weapons are here. What? Why would you want to see my weapons? You know... Well, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these Maki girls? see. Yes, more or less. So... No swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I bought you, I should roll the katana. Hmm. I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Hey! Can I explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah! Didn't I tell you this morning? Get a plan figured out. Huh? What's in this black case over there? So backing away from the conversation, Kato headed to the fire bookcase. So... What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Let's see. Then Kato pulled something out of the black case. Hmm? Is it a bunch of parts? I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Hmm. When you put them together, they become a crossbow. That's interesting. Oh, here you go. Can you teach him how to put it together? Sure, whatever. I don't mind. Kato's totally planning to kill someone. Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm hmm. Then next it's. I'm watching those two. The memory of a similar scene came to mind. Kato struggling while Ma Maki gave him directions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Oh! Since they built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? Doesn't matter who builds it, though. That's right. Seems a bit complicated. I think I can do it by myself next time. Hey. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. Well, that's all right. Sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the screen. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is gonna do it? My bad. Sorry, I don't feel too good again. What? It's just like I'm not at 100%, so I'm gonna go back first. Got a minute? Hey! No way Maki trying to stop him. I told Feather Young. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type of cleanup, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy line. How annoying. How frustrating. It's the worst. Well. Well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> You're the worst, too. Huh? Huh? Well... I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get Kato and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But... I don't know what to say to him. No choice. I don't tell. If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I don't think it'd be great to apologize to that. Hey! Sorry, Maki. I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. Sorry. Now that she mentions it, mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned for us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Oh no. Maki's gonna die, isn't she? In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries. I'm worried about Kukiji. Then there's the thing with me and Kaido. Alright! I didn't make up with him, or us, after Maki. Fell asleep without thinking about it. Oh, thinking about it. Oh. <coughs> Just Kaido dying, as usual. Damn it. Why? Why now? This is the same 3G, right? I think his eyes might be a little different, but. Why? Me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Damn it. With how much they're kind of hinting at it, I think Kaido's going to plan to kill someone, but he's going to die. Like, what if he plans to kill Maki and Maki kills him? No, 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 I don't. Please, don't let that happen. Plan to kill Kokichi, please. Recklessness is a beautiful thing. So beautiful, I want to print the words Reckless Beauty on the t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that... That dreams are made out of. 
This is what makes you grant at full speed, ignoring guys to your limitations. This is what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if, if Hades laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. That reminds me of something stupid. Talks about it in the, in the letter episode. I won't talk about it again. Ahem! This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! Rise and shine, kiddos! Kiddos? It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there! Embrace your homicidal urges! And have a fabulous day! <laughs> I like how he said that. Sure, everyone is gathered gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. I'm gonna make up with Kaido. Oh, is there any unique dialogue for everyone's rooms? Gonta, you're so kind. I was trying to help us in your own strange way. I sacrificed you. Seek into the outside world you discovered. Horrible truth. To save us from that, you're willing to kill. Click, click. It won't open. This is done. It doesn't count about the entire. Oh, okay. It's just the most recent victim. Then. I, I think. Oh, what about Kokichi's? What's Kokichi doing? Where is he? he? Wants to win the killing game. He wants to make us suffer. What's he planning? Hidden away. Like she doesn't have anything. Oh, Mew will have one. Alright. Mew's dead. Mew. You're so troublesome. Even at the very end. But still, you don't have to die. You didn't deserve to die like that, Mew. I mean, she kinda did. Oh, well, she was planning to kill Kokichi. Hey, so she's not that bad. Shuichi, good morning. Okay. Good, good morning. So I'm not used to Himiko being so energetic. Mm -hmm. Seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. Been, since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Too. I'm, not e I'm even eating breakfast every morning now. Mm. Probably be good if I kept up the schedule after we got out of here. If I do that, I'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of the schedule, but I think they've grown a little. What? I'll grow even bigger and bigger. Then no one will be able to call me, uh... No, 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 YouTube will pay me for huh? that. Here we go. Yeah. Nothing, I'll get going now. <laughs> Dining hall. Okay, everyone's still alive. Everyone that matters. Kokichi's not here. Or well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. Punk. What are you thinking of? Huh? Well... I'm worried about Kukichi, right? We're all worried too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, he's a master of hiding seek. It can't be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well... No. As long as Monokuma's here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway. Listen up! Listen up, everyone. I gotta tell you guys something. Kaido has an idea. It's a little awkward, awkward with Kaido right now, but I should listen. Um, what's your idea, Kaido? So, oh yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaido averted his eyes for me and looked around. You know, looks like Monaco was in here. Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaido turned to us. His expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Want to do that? I need your guys' help. Please. So please, tell me I helped you. Huh? What? I mean, in order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on. What are you talking um, about? Um. Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with huh? me. Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's their best best chance. Since the Monokubs are gone, the souls that were protecting them can't move. Let's do it. Now's their chance to get together and kick Monokuma's butt. Fight Monokuma. Let's see, that must be why Kato was looking for weapons. But Monokuma's probably got more spares. Wanna be pointless no matter how many how many we beat? Even if we beat him, what then? We we're still kinda of trapped here. <sighs> Now all we need to do is destroy them one by one until they aren't any left. But... I don't know how, how, what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exuals, this academy is still under his control. Hey! And you're fine with the way things are now? You guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up! The only way to change things now is to fight. 
You want to put an end to this killing game? Then we gotta fight. Hey guys! If we don't stand up now, then what? But... Well, we don't have anyone who can fight. Like, don't tell your tank Then. I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? What? Well. I know an assassin wanted to say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki. Everyone! Let's do it. What? Keep up, you two. I heard it. I am the voice that guides me when I so lost spoke to me again. Said now is the time to stand in the fight. Maybe a dangerous course of action, but it'll prevent future victims. I Then I've said that I'll fight Monokuma. What what if that voice is like probably someone from the first and second game? You been waiting for this words. Very well. I'll lend you my talent. What? Are you are they waiting I... for that? I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. Great, huh? That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Yeah. See, look, I can make my flat, my hat fly. See? They said flat. <laughs> oh no. Okay, then me too. I can't let the killing game go on like hey. this. Can I join as well? At Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, great. Right. All right. And we all agree. It's decided. Let's do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a yeah. Let's Show him what we're made of. Mm. Won't even need to use my magic. No. I think that if you can use magic, you can ask the time for it. Well. And when do you guys want to start? Find out starting right away. Nah. Don't get ahead of yourself, because this will be the final battle. You should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean. Prepared for battle, of course. Oh, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> so you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? Huh. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right. Battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's night time, let's meet up at the gym. Okay, so this is probably gonna be our last free time today. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. Separated for now and return to our rooms. Let's max Kibos then, since we'll probably have two slots. Hopefully, I doubt Kaido will hang out with us. Fight with Monokuma. Sure, this is our chance, but. What is the sense of unease? This Monaco is probably two steps ahead of us. Until Kichi too. Can't imagine you just ignore this. Let's be planning something. I have to be cautious. Let's check out the report card first. Uh, and let's leave out the academy for the remainder of the, the foreseeable future. Yeah, it wants a murder. Until only two surviving students remain. So... What defines them as a student? And I forget uh, how Yantario talked about it. Violence towards Monokuma is strictly prohibited. They'll never directly commit a murder. Mana pads are very important items. Please do not damage them. Um, free to explore the campus at your discretion. They'll be immediately exterminated by the Exos. Swimming is prohibited in the pool during night time. The water is also good school, yes. Okay. So, let's go hang out with people then. Can we even see Kaido on the map? He said he's at the gym, right? I think? Yeah, we can't see him, so... Oh, okay, we can test you. So, let's go. Wait, there, we, there it is. Okay. Oh, make it safe before we do it, okay? I bet we won't be able to mess Kaido. Should have done them earlier, but, you know. I had to get Maki and Himiko. I guess I could have done him instead of Yoma, but Yoma's cool. I, I don't regret spending time with Yoma. Alright, so let's save. Yeah, uh, not Kibo. Alright! Let's do it. Together, we're strong enough to defeat Monokuma. We're gonna hang out with Kibo for a while. Yeah. So there's more now by spending some time together. Let's check the guide, and what else can I give him? I can give him the one right before the scarf, the Mono Jinbi? Jinbei? Let's say that's the travel journal. Okay. Spend some time with Kibo. 
Keep on eyeing you a little closer today. If you give up on the present, definitely. Oh, we don't have that one. Wait. I guess we don't have the travel journal either. What else can we do? It's the potted banyan tree. I don't think we have that one. Pot trip game council. That's the numbers. Oh, is this it? Oh no, that's the compass. Numbers the cost. 77. Do we have that? No. It's jelly balls. Everyone likes them. Okay. He likes this. The weather cock of Barcelos. Even hates the Portuguese Euster of Barcelos. Some of the truth. It's probably some souvenir from Portugal. Okay. Uh, is that the real thing? Never heard of it. The history of Barcelos, that is. This is... It's quite a fascinating item. Are you sure I can have it? Hmm... I'm sure I can give you something in return, but I have nothing to give. Sorry. Shuichi! Have you given more thought to our previous discussion? Previous discussion? I remember. When I suggested you fake the thing. Sorry. Yes, I have, Kibo. Apologize for saying what I yeah. did. Yeah. Accept your apology. After all, humans are robots alike seek greater understanding. Well then. As for my robot business, I can't be a pop star. I have, I'll have to think of something else. Get him to think of anything. Do you have any ideas? I think Kibo could get into it. Did they upset him last time? Stunt work. Higher work. Robo made. Do I still like this? No, no, no. Stunt work. Eh, but, I mean... No, it's gotta be the Robo made. Then... What about a Robo made? What is it? Did you even partake... We're taking too much science fiction. <laughs> that couldn't possibly be a better man than Kuryomi. You're right. That's true. Hmm. Alright then, oh. uh, that was a caregiver robot. Life expect expecting to see rising. I'm sure there, there is demand. See. Caregiver robot. I never thought of that. Well then. Alright, I've been pr practicing at once. I'll begin pr practicing. Can I need you to help me? Shoot. No. How could I possibly help you, people? Please. I can do your play as someone in my care. Okay. I see. Alright, sure. Well then. I'll try to assist you in getting ready for bed. Uh, um, ready for bed, alright? Can you help me change into pajamas? Impossible! Changing clothes? I can't do that. It's too embarrassing. No. Care work, Kibo. You don't have to be embarrassed. Don't! But, oh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, and that's that. No clothes changing. Hmm. Alright, alright. Well then. Also, try to pick you up and place you on the okay. bed. No bed here, so I suppose we'll just have to make do. Add in the feudal business just so that Kibo can carry me more easily. It's kind of embarrassing. Relatively to a misunderstanding. All right. All right, here I go. Keep on dancing with the determination, then begin to lift me up. Ah. Broke his back. It's not picking me up. Hmm. Keep on, what's wrong? My right back. My right back. Huh? Your back? But you're a robot. How rude. You're too heavy. Really? I'm not. Normal for my age. Ah. Can't he only lift like 10 pounds? Ouch. Hurts to move my back. Just that makes caregiving out of the question. Friendship fragment. Robots have underwear? Ironically, I ended up carrying Kibo on my back and taking him to his room. They still have some time. That's true. Okay, this might be the last free time on the game. So let's give it everything we've got. We could examine, uh, Muse lab and eh, I don't feel it. Where is it? There. So who do you think's gonna die? Okay, I don't. There's a lot of death flags stuff right now. Oh, I guess he's in. Oh, can I only examine it? Oh no, I. Oh man, I can go away. It's grayed out on the map, so maybe that means no one's in here. Why does she have a chainsaw attached to the ceiling? Alright, Kibo. Oh! 
Look at that. There's a backpack. Keep going. Please wait. Monica was the obvious threat, but we need to be aware of Kokichi's next move. It's persistent about this game. It will likely interfere with our attempt to end it. What if Kokichi and Kaido die? Alright! Let's come up with a plan to defend against Kokichi's interference. Spend some time with Kibo. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. I like Kibo my present, definitely. I want to give him my different present than the last times. Let's look at the gift. Let's begin. Like space egg, <laughs> and he likes perfect laser gun and Dongan werewolf. I don't think I have any of those. Oh, perfect laser gun. You sure to watch your coefficient. Thank you very much. This is nice. It aligns with our preferences. Understand me. Feel happy. Are you okay? Kibo, is your back okay? Yeah. Yes, it feels better after I've rested. So it just has to rest? Doesn't have to get repairs done? Well then. Shushi, sure, sure, what about your robot business plan? Realize that there's an issue that must be addressed before it can impl implement it. Rachel, throw it on more than one occasion that your backstory is somewhat lacking. Huh? Your backstory? Which means? Yeah, your back's not very strong. My backstory had more. It's more interesting. Maybe it could be more than just an ordinary robot. Actual, sure, Listen okay. closely. For example, if my family were killed by a monster, leaving me critically injured, I start revenging on someone, you know, like the tragic hero? That way I'd gain more exposure to the emotions of sadness and vengeance. I suppose so. It does sound pretty cool. Hmm. I need weapons, which I'd have to get from the professor along with my new backstory. Not fond of robotic weaponry, but I suppose it's unavoidable. Hmm. Are you sure? I know you don't like weapons. Isn't that something you really wanted to avoid? But if I stay the way I am... Hey! I've said this before, but you really are the ultimate robot, Kibo. You shouldn't think of yourself as merely ordinary. Shuichi, your words make you feel extremely happy. However, okay. don't fully comprehend what it means to feel that emotion. The way to detect that this guy's me to feel sad. I cannot comprehend that I huh? sad? Yeah. Within me, I have a strong desire to feel like everyone else. To be able to say that with pride, I'm friends with you and everyone else here. Hmm. Kibo. Does that be why he's so concerned? Wants everyone to accept him? Is that all right? Kibo, you don't have to think up a new backstory. Let's just keep things... Let's just keep thinking about the robot business together. Huh? Really? But you said... I think you really am the ultimate okay. robot. Okay. And that's true. To keep getting more business experience, I think it'll help you learn new emotions as well. That's why I want to help you, Kibo. It's your friend. <laughs> Shuichi! Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. I think I feel such great gratitude towards you. The serendipitous miscalculation. <laughs> Highly Kibo. You're the one who told me that only I could help you. That's That's a logical decision on my part, because it's dangerous to expose your weaknesses to an equal, not to someone who's beneath you. Kibo! So that's why you're always talking down to me! <laughs> but our relationship is different now. I feel that you and I are equals. No, I've decided that we are equals to do our special relationship. This is yes. It's fairly intuition. Huh? Intuition. Yes. Based on our interactions thus far, if I've felt something inside me. This judgment is not rooted in logic, but rather something akin to human intuition. That intuition is telling me that I can build a friendship with you, Shuichi. Yeah, let's be best let's be best friends, Kibo. Friendship, huh? Yes, I suppose that is an equal but special relationship. Shuichi! Please look out for me, Shuichi. Okay. And you for me, Kibo. Shook sure hands. One human, one robot. That's not what's important. There's a real connection here. A true bond between me and Kibo. Woo! Your friendship has deepened. Kibo's support card has been updated. It's been a new skill. Digital love. Oh, I already had that skill. <laughs> we spent the rest of the day discussing robot business possibilities. And Kibo's built-in parts. <laughs> Okay, it's night time. Should I call it there? Let's keep going because I think I like to end it right when the body's just different. So, Amonikuma's out. He's he's hiding. He doesn't want to die. Amonikuma isn't here. What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? Should get to the gym. I'm sure, everyone is already gathered there. Let's. Uh, parts built to Kibo's waist. 
Protect the delicate parts of his body from temperature and humidity. They need to be changed daily, but can be re reused after washed. Okay. There's a lot of items here. So this is chapter five, chapter six. Beating the game. Well, I mean, that'd be chapter six. One? Maybe getting all the items, beating school mode or whatever, and 100% in the game? Maybe? Uh, so, this looking at Kibo's stuff. It's equipped with many functions. Uh, it's the story of his miraculous birth by Professor Itabashi. Kimono for advice about starting a robot business, yeah. Live in an aging society. Perhaps the caregiver business is perfect for him. It's not the business for him. One day experience the same emotions we all do. Wants to be friends with us all. Had to help him with whatever career he chose. Not as a ro human to a robot, but a friend to a friend. Better cool will lock onto a nearby V point during concentrating. Okay, that's pretty nice. Think someone's already dead? Or. The gym, right? Oh, some more gear. Shuichi! Are you headed to the okay. gym? Yes, I am. Hey! I remember hearing you getting all worked up about it, but... Kibo's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? We use those, we won't have to depend so much on Maki and Blitz. Well. It's true, but... Kibo said he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... Uh. But in this situation, maybe you should get over that already. Well, shouldn't force him to do anything. My man's Moe is another man's trash. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that how that goes? Well, whatever, anyway. I'm gonna go on ahead. I don't think anyone's gonna be dead just yet. I mean, they could be, but... I think maybe when we get there, they're, they're still alive, but... They get killed by, by the robot? But... They meaning probably Kaido. Oh. I know. Yeah, it's the gym, right? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, let's go. Kichi's dead. Nobody's, nobody's dead. All right. Everyone's here. Hope you're all ready. Ah, oh. those weapons. Oh yeah. So I went to my lab yesterday to find the weapons to use against Monica. Got it. Yep, that's right. Hey guys. Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. <laughs> you don't mean you're ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No. And you're ready to fight and win, obviously. <sighs> I need to fight and win. Yeah. Shadow him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? It's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're gonna beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> oh no. What a coinky dink. There's a friendly and ending this killing game too. On hearing that voice, we're all spun on a dime. It's not him standing before us. Kokichi! You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. You little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. That? Is that a bomb? A uh, uh, bomb? Uh, Dong ending up with two flashbacks? Yep. It's exactly that. Which means... If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. So? What? Wait, what was I going to tell you? Don't lie! You're the one who said it! Little, what are you, you gonna do with that bomb? Ah. Yeah, it's gonna tell you on tell you my purpose. See? Now it's this in the rules that the killing game won't continue until there's only two left. But it's never mentioned about how many you can kill, right? Huh? I well you know. Here's a question for everyone. <laughs> who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be! It can't be you. What did you say? Then kills all with that bomb? Are you serious? And the way you're gonna end the killing game is I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around! Quit screwing around. Who'd ever agree to that plan? Should we raise your hand? Survive. I... <laughs> 
It would be good to destroy me. I have no intention of being manipul manipulated Why by you. you. Scared of dying. But nothing good will come from surviving with you. That's true. What was that? I'd rather die than work with Shuichi. I also don't want to survive with someone who do such a thing to go to. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? You just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. What a surprise. Surprise. I don't think this will go exactly as a prediction. Huh? What? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. Just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti monokuma weapons? The hammers? Chichi, what are you fighting? Yeah. Any of you guys would be like this. I can definitely entrust the ultimate anti monokuma weapons to you guys. Is he talking about the hammers? Could it be the ultimate anti monokuma weapons? We're talking about the hammers? Cut it out. Don't use the listening. Uh, Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Miu's memento. Uh, Miu's memento? Yeah. Yeah, there's called electro hammers. There's something that asks Miu to invent. How exciting! The pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. Huh? Disables electronic machines! <laughs> I mean, that includes Kibo, too. Should be helpful against monokuma, right? What? Helpful against monokuma. Hold up! I don't know what we're gonna fight Mono. Ah. I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. Mm. The fact you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But. I also was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. So that was my plan all along. That's why I wanted to end this kill again. That's why I asked Miyu to make this. To defeat Monokuma and the Mono Cubs. Stop it. Don't lie, you've been fixated on this killing him the whole time. Always messing around. Is that really something Miyu made? Are you lying about that too? I'm disappointed. You guys are gonna doubt that too? <gasps> Chris, have you gotten everything you've done to up to us up in front of Yep, I heard that. Yeah. I do expect us to believe that. Because it doesn't make sense. If Miu made that weapon, why didn't she Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Hmm. If there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. Cats. This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault? Oh man. I told me you too, you know? And the time I asked her to invent this. Don't worry that we should fight against Monokuma, but she. <laughs> I'm a pain in my butt. Why do I gotta make this again? Well, you know. Quit complaining. This is all a lewd girl like you is good for it anyway. What? Okay. But. This is so exciting. This is done. We can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Yeah. Don't be stupid. We're gonna do it. Do it yourself. Hmm? Huh? Um. Doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will still betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. You're, you betrayed us! Besides, so this weapon won't make any difference. We killed other robots before we can use it. We just invented it because I was asked to. No intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him, and I can't afford to die here anyway. Listen up! Not when I still need to invent something that's going to change the world. So if you if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me! If it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything to thank you. <laughs> Someone will still betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Axel's will... We're still moving at that time, so I don't blame you, but... She's afraid to trust you guys. Couldn't you just use it on the robots? Hmm. It's fair betray betrayal overcame her. That's why she blooded her hands in this killing game. Damn! That idiot. Well, you know... Hey, you guys are different. You guys want to lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? Be sure to your determination to fight earlier. You ignored my advice from earlier. No! And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around! What's screwing around? What are you saying? Probably just lied about talking to Miu. Ah. By the way, the electro hammers weren't the only thing Miu made. What did she make? <laughs> she made this thing too. What? A bomb too? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though. Even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with ele electromagnetic waves. Um. Two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. Perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. I, I have a feeling Kibo's going to die. Especially with that, um, that hydraulic press. My bad. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please, wait! Settle? I have no intention of using such suspicious looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. Huh? Underground tunnel? See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. You're finally starting to believe me? 
But... Be careful. You're gonna end up battery pretty quickly. So if you use them against the next duel, all you're gonna have to just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge. So watch out for that. Um... Anyway, that explaining soul, hand the electro hammers over. Well, you know... I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore, either. Huh? Won't interfere? See? I'll be looking from a distance. Or something like that. You don't want me around anyway. No. But before you run off again, simply I need to ask you. What was that riding in the courtyard? If I remember correctly... The message that Gonta found. This world is mine, Blue said. Did you write that? And if he did, why? Hmm? What's that? I have no idea. Don't lie! I'm play dumb, your name is on it. You gotta be the one who did it. But... I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That just makes you guys suspect I'm the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Because... We have a mastermind that says chapter one. Yeah, the world is mine, Kokichi Oma. I'm making me seem like the mastermind. Ah. I know, this is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry, I truly want to end this killing. Suddenly, a dark shadow slid between us, quick as the flash. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game, that's all! If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. I'm okay with Kokichi Battle. Maki Roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't! I told you, we can't play this killing game! That's just what Monokuma wants! Maki let go and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. He's such a meanie. How can you do something like this to a friend? What? Friend? As if. <laughs> you guys may not think that way, but I see all of you as my friends. That's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore, so please continue to walk the path you believe in. Kikichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. Left me on the electro hammers. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They've got to be booty. Hmm. Boot. <sighs> They've got to be booby trapped somehow. There we go. Looking at it, definitely seems like something Neo made. Hey. Anyway, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. You know, if it's not a lie, then isn't this our one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. We use those electro hammers. Maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try it? What is it? We can actually do what Kikichi is suggesting. What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. Are you really gonna believe Kokichi? But you know, our goal is to escape with everyone, right? There's a chance we can do it, and we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time? Uh, okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like he's gonna get another way soon. Hmm. It's our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so. Let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. And if we can escape, we'll find out, out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. So I know you could actually get to the end, apparently, with in like the prologue. I wonder, does that change anything? Like, do you just does it just go like rewind and oh, you, you can't win, by the way. I or, see. You do not know if that's a lie or the truth, though. Secret of the outside world, the despair going to mention. Or maybe they escape. Is that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. All right, we have to try. All right. That's all we've got. The secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. Anyway, we should at least try. We won't have any regrets. What should we do? What do you want to do, Monkey? That punk. And hammer's trapped, and I'll either kill that uh, meanie. Come on, man. You can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm just gonna beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. You see, if everyone else is gonna do it, I understand. Yeah. And I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. Yeah, right on. However, I'm still concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? So there's no point worrying about that now. I don't know if I want to focus on moving forward. The only thing I can do, keep moving forward. All right. Let's get going. We're going to escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Kato gave a triumphant shout, and we all grabbed the electro hammers. Yes. Let's go. Mm. We're sharing for you. That's not it. Yumiko, you need to come too. Left the German high speed. Alright! Then we go to Shut the underground passage. Took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Ah, uh, do I call it here? Yeah, I'll call it here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Unless like the, in the next ten minutes the culprits are like, not the culprit. Someone dies. Then I'll put it on the end of this video. But this is probably not gonna be, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.